a white teeth bun and bring some more tar fan collection. This is another fan video for you. This is my Bionair ISF004 trial bunch desk fan. I think it has five blades, which is epic. And never, never, they're, they're very narrow blades as well. There's the side of it and the back. A very modern looking fan. And the handle's actually rubber, so it's, an, it's, it's got a unique shape to it. So it doesn't actually hurt your hand when you carry it around. And if you look on the label here, which the label was here when I got it. There's the model number for you. This fan's made in, in around 2018. This fan actually has an even large reach. You change the speed. It goes down when you change the speed. I think that's why this has six speeds. So, here the bottom of it. There's not really much to it on the bottom. It has got four rubber feet. However, they're not, they don't touch the ground. So, then, so I don't recommend putting this thing on it. Well, actually, I do touch the ground, but I did, did only just touch the ground, but these little plastic bits would. Probably scratch the table, so I wouldn't put it something on my on my piece of furniture. Anyway, we'll start on low speed. This fan, this fan is very, very quiet. And then you get this fan in black, you can't get it in any other colour. I'll go to medium. No, number two, I mean. This fan has a weird grinding noise to it. I don't know what that is, but... It's not to be really bothered about. It doesn't bother us at all. Free. And the grinding gets a bit louder, but it's, it's not really much of a bother. It doesn't stop the fan from working. It doesn't, it doesn't affect the, the performance of the fan. This is my little medium right now, so we'll go up to four now. This is getting a bit more powerful now. It's only as powerful as my day with the 12-inch desk fan, or my Scotland 12-inch desk fan, or the Duracraft, or any other fans in the collection. It's probably the least powerful fan I own. Even my Argus Value Range 7-inch desk fan is more powerful. That's, that's speed 5. Not really much diff of a difference between 4 and 5. Now, most now the thing I've, I've just realised about this fan is that the cords in a weird place. It's not it's not here like it usually is because usually you have it on the back here, but not on this one. Insulation for you. Now to adjust it, 
it's like my day room, there's no like dials to adjust it. To adjust it, you just have to push on it, push it down. However, it does say in instructions you shouldn't do it while it's plugged in, but that doesn't do any harm to it. Also, this fan is more of a matte plastic. The only parts of that, the only parts of it that are plastic back are the blades and the badge. The rest of it is all like a like a, a matte black finish, as you can see here. It's not very glossy. The oscillation is like a satin finish, but yeah. Also, this fan is very lightweight, and this fan. Probably the reason why it's not so powerful is this fan only uses 13 watts. That's about the power that a 6 inch desk fan uses. This fan is underpowered, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video, Ethan, and the big and small for collection. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.